video walks you through configuring your auto attendant with Aptix Voice, and we'll start by configuring the auto attendant options. First, we need to log in at appweb.onvoip.net. Only the company admin can modify auto attendant, so you'll need to log in with those credentials for this. To start, we're going to click on the services link on the left side, and then we're going to click on auto attendant underneath basic on the right, and that'll bring up a list of all of the available auto attendants for your company. You can see the extension number assigned to your auto attendant in this view, and if there's a phone number assigned, which there's not in this case, you'll see that as well under phone number. To modify this auto attendant, we're going to click on the edit link all the way on the right hand side. Next to the auto attendant you want to edit, there's only one in this case. And then on the next page, you'll click on profile underneath basic to get to the auto attendant modify menu. Initially, by default, all calls direct to the business hours menu of the auto attendant. We'll show you how to set up the after hours menu later if you need to, but for now, click on the business hours menu. In the top part of this page, you could load a greeting if you have one pre-recorded. Only one file format is compatible with the web portal, and that's WAVE CCITT ULAW 8-bit format. If you want to use your own file, it must be in this format, or you must convert it to this format before you can upload it to the web portal. You can also visit the audio production store who can produce a professional recording for your auto attendant if you want to do that. Initially, the system plays the default auto attendant greeting when somebody calls, but we'll show you how to record a personal greeting later in this video. Once you do record the greeting from the phone, you'll see a message next to personal greeting indicating that it has been recorded from the phone. The bottom of the page is where you'll configure the auto attendant options. If you dial your auto attendant, you'll hear the default greeting, which matches these default options. Welcome. Your call is being answered by an automated attendant. If you know the extension of the party you are trying to reach, dial First level extension to dialing is enabled by default, so the caller could dial an extension number at any time during the greeting to reach that extension. Thank you for calling. The caller can press any of the keys on the left, 0 through 9, star or pound, anytime during the recording to reach that option. The description is optional. It can be anything you want that makes it easy to remember what that option's for. We'll talk about the actions drop down in a second, and the phone number box becomes visible when you select any of the first three actions on the drop down for that option. All 12 keys have an action drop down available, and the options are the same for each one. The first option on the list would make the key unavailable to the caller. Transfer with prompt plays a system message before sending the call which says Your call is being transferred. Please hold. Or if the extension is recorded a personal name announcement, the caller would hear Transferring to Terry Gonaway. Transfer without prompt transfers the call without playing a system message. Transfer to operator plays Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. Before transferring the call to the phone number in the phone number box for that option. Name dialing allows the caller to find somebody in the directory by name and prompts the caller as follows. Using the keys on your touchtone phone, please enter the name of the party you wish to reach. Last name first. Press star at any time to return to the main menu. Once a match is found, the system prompts the caller and transfers the call to that extension. Extension dialing is available as an option but rarely used. Repeat menu simply repeats the greeting and exit would end the call. Callers who do not make a selection will be automatically transferred to the operator only if this option is selected for key zero. Okay, let's set up some options real quick. So now when they reach the auto attendant, if the caller presses 1, they'll reach Kelly's phone. If they press 2, it'll ring Don's phone. If they press 3, it'll ring Terry's voicemail directly and not her phone, and Harold's set up the same way. That's the star 55 prefix there. If they press 0, they'll reach Albert at 2002, or if they don't make a selection, they'll reach him as well. If they press 5, they'll have name dialing, and if they press the pound key, the menu will repeat. And once you're happy with the way things look, you just hit the OK button. Now the options for the auto attendant are set up. We just have to make sure we have a greeting that matches, and we'll talk about recording that next. You could upload a recording from the web portal as we mentioned prior. Here we're going to walk you through how to record it directly from your phone. An email was sent to the admin on the account when the account was first set up. 
The welcome email includes the same instructions we'll review here, and you'll need to refer to that email to get your Voice Portal extension number and the Voice Portal password. You can record the greeting from one of your company phones or from a cell phone or landline. When you call the Voice Portal from your company phone, you'll hear this. Welcome to your Compilot Voice Portal. Please enter your passcode, then press the pound key. If you are not calling from your own phone, please press the star key. Don't enter the password right away because when you call from your company phone, the system thinks you're trying to log into your own voicemail, so you have to hit star, then the voice portal extension and pound, then the voice portal password and pound to log in. To record the greeting from a cell phone or landline, you first dial the phone number directly assigned to the auto attendant, and during the greeting you'll dial the voice portal extension number. This only works if you've enabled top-level extension dialing, so even if you don't plan to use it, enable it temporarily just so you can record the greeting. Welcome to your Compilot Voice Portal. Please enter your mailbox ID now, followed by the pound key. Here again, you have to dial the Voice Portal extension number, followed by the pound key, then the password and pound key to log in. Once you're logged in, you just follow the prompts. To change an auto attendance greetings, Press 1. If you have multiple auto attendants, you'll be prompted to enter an auto attendant number, which is the extension number assigned to the auto attendant, and then you'll hear this. To record a new business hours greeting, press 1. You record the business hours greeting and the after hours greeting the same way, so after you press 1, you'll hear. To record a new business hours greeting, press 1. And then after you press 1. Please start recording after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. The greeting can really be anything you want, just make sure it matches your options so that your callers know what to push to reach you. Once you've finished, you'll hear, Thank you. Your greeting has been recorded. And now your auto attendant is all set up, and you can listen to it by dialing the extension number or phone number assigned to it. If you need help or have questions, you can always call the support line, and thanks for choosing Aptics Voice.